Hi, I'm Bob Henderson with GFG Instrumentation. This afternoon I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about how to use the Micro Four Single Sensor Gas Detector both as a simple diffusion monitor but also together with a motorized attachable pump to allow you to obtain a sample from a remote location by means of a hose and probe assembly together with the pump. Uh, so uh, here we go. I'm holding in my hands a Micro Four single sensor gas detector. At the moment I have an oxygen sensor installed. You can install a wide variety of different electrochemical toxic gas sensors and sensors for the detection of oxygen. Many ranges, many gases. It's a very flexible product. Most of the time the Micro Four is going to be used in simple diffusion operation. What that means is you depend on the currents in the air that immediately surrounds the instrument to help the molecules that are present to diffuse into the sensor where the gas is measured. So all you have to do to operate the instrument is make sure it's turned on and take it into the area where you want to measure the gas. Uh, that makes it very easy to simply wear the Micro Four gas detector or hold it in your hand or put it, uh, clip it into your shirt pocket and uh, life is good, very easy. But occasionally you need to sample from a remote location where you cannot wear the instrument or where you don't want to drop the instrument on a rope or do something else. Um, where you need to actually stand in one location but obtain the sample from another location. And we have a beautiful solution when you have that requirement. What we use in that case is an attachable, self-powered, self motorized sampling pump. The pump has its own power supply, which is a set of two alkaline AA batteries. When the pump is turned on, it's going to suck the sample down a hose and probe assembly from the location where you stick the probe uh, back to the point where you have the pump and the instrument. So um, how to use the pump is very, very simple. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is to make sure you have a set of batteries in the pump. And to open the protective pump compartment cover, you'll notice on the inside of the pump there is a catch. You push the catch to release the pump cover and open the battery compartment. To install a set of batteries, make sure that the orientation of the batteries matches the diagram that is em embossed into the uh, sensor uh, compartment tray. So push the batteries into place, close up the cover. I like to, just to make sure I've got the batteries in the correct location, I will activate the pump briefly to make sure that uh, the batteries are good and that the pump is ready to be um, um, F, um, the pump is ready to be attached to the instrument and then to actually attach the pump the first thing I do is to remove the protective boots from the Micro Four instrument and you'll notice that the sensor is protected by a sensor compartment cover. Uh, that's also something that you'll need to remove to a, every six months or so. Uh, replace the alkaline battery that provides the power for the instrument. To remove the cover, I like to hold the instrument firmly in my hand and slide the cover back in my direction. Now make sure that you don't dislodge the sensor in the process of removing the cover. So before putting the, or attaching the pump, I like to simply push the sensor a little bit to make sure that it is firmly in the, in the socket. And then all you need to do is to slide the pump into place. And you're done. Now the top of the pump has the same grill that you see um, with the sensor compartment cover that allows the gas that immediately surrounds the instrument to diffuse directly into the sensor. 
But when you want to take a reading from the remote location, remember the pump has to be turned on. If the pump is not turned on, the only molecules that will enter the sensor are the ones that are in the immediately surrounding atmosphere. So the next step is to attach the hose and probe assembly to the pump. The final step is to make sure that you don't have any blockages or leaks in the sample drawing system. And the way that we're going to do that is to cause a leak by blocking the end of the probe. You'll hear the pump struggle and eventually uh, it will either shut down completely or uh, labor and um, barely be running and the green light will begin to flash to help you uh, alert you to the fact that there is a, a blockage in the line. So the final thing that you always want to remember when you're using the motorized pump is it takes a little bit of time to get from the location where you are obtaining the sample back to the location of the sensor um, where the instrument has a chance to uh, obtain a reading. And we normally say that it takes about one second per foot of tubing or three seconds per meter of time for the sample to move down the tube and go back to the location of the instrument. So you can see that when I um, breathe into the end of the tube and um, will cause an oxygen deficiency. And note the amount of time it takes to move from my mouth to the instrument. So always make sure to give the, uh, give the instrument and pump enough time before you take action on the reading. You want to make sure that you're obtaining a sample from the location that you mean to monitor. The final thing I'll show you before uh, completing this uh, brief overview of how to use the motorized pump is to show you one of our other very useful um, accessories. Sometimes the location that you want to take the sample from is located above your head, towards the ceiling, or in an awkward area to reach uh, with the uh, uh, probe when it's attached to the flexible tubing. So what we use in that case is a telescoping stainless steel probe, and I'll try to keep everything in the view of the video camera. So, it's a telescoping probe. Um, you have a uh, six foot and a 10 foot version available. With the telescoping probe, it's easy to take a sample from up near the ceiling or in a shallow pit, or uh, if you're, especially if you're uh, looking for carbon monoxide leaks in a heating system, you can actually move the end of the probe along the vent line or the, the heating line and, and you can find the exact point where the carbon monoxide, if it is escaping, is uh, getting away. So remember, when the pump is turned off, the instrument is only operating in diffusion operation, so it's only telling you what is present in the atmosphere where the instrument is located. You have a choice when you're done using the pump. You can remove the pump and replace the protective sensor compartment cover. Again, I like to make sure, just in case, to push the sensor firmly into place. Put on the protective boots and you're back to standard diffusion operation. Thank you very much for paying attention and uh, let us know if you have any additional questions. Thank you.